and I'm ready to go. Fire away. All right. It is my pleasure to make a few announcements about the awards for 2021. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this year, due to COVID restrictions, we were unable to visit properties or give awards for natural and built heritage, but we hope to continue this program next year. Obviously, we are pre presenting awards virtually today, but it may be possible to hold small gatherings to recognize award winners later in the summer. Now I will present two photography awards. The Michael Foster Photography Award is presented annually to the photographer whose image best represents the beauty of this area. Michael Foster was a photographer and artist whose great passion was nature. He was actively involved in Muskoka Conservancy. This year's theme was Water's Edge. This year's winner is Christine Andrews with a wonderful photo of an otter that you can see on your screen. Congratulations, Christine. The next photo award is for the Little Sprouts. A second photo award was started this year for our Little Sprouts Echo Club. This group meets monthly with an environmental theme and activities for the whole family. The photo contest had the same theme, Water's Edge. This year's winner is Capri Hunter. She is nine years old and has been a Little Sprout since 2015. She wants to be a wildlife biologist. She created this wonderful scene with her critters at Gull Lake Park in Gravenhurst. Congratulations to Capri. The next award is the Charlie, Charlie Essence Stewardship Bursary. It is presented annually to a deserving local student pursuing post-secondary education in the natural sciences or environmental sector. The award is generously supported by the Essen family in memory of Charlie, who lived his life demonstrating foresight and good stewardship. The winner this year is Aidan Veach. He has been an honor roll student for all four years of high school. He has been a co-op student at the MNR and at Muskoka Conservancy. He has always wanted a career in the fishing industry where he could help protect and conserve fisheries in Ontario. He will be attending the University of Guelph in the Marine and Freshwater Biology program. In letters of recommendation, his teachers say, Aiden excels in group tasks because he, is a he has a collaborative approach. He is a good natured and thoughtful young man who treats everyone with respect. The selection committee believes that Aiden exemplifies many of the values and aspirations that Charlie Essen embodied and would appreciate. So congratulations to Aiden Beach. We wish him good luck at the University of Guelph next September. Now I turn the meeting over to Scott for the presentation of the Whale and Drew Award. Thank you, Elspeth. Whale and Drew was an inspiring teacher, a gifted writer, and a passionate advocate for the preservation of wilderness. He earned the respect and admiration of his peers, both locally and in the broader environmental community. Among many honors, Whalen Drew received the Lieutenant Governor's Conservation Award in recognition of his lifelong commitment on behalf of the environment. The Whalen Drew Natural Heritage Award is presented to recognize individuals who exemplify environmental leadership by promoting stewardship, conservation, environmental education, and awareness of Muskoka's natural heritage. There is no one, perhaps in the history of this award, that is more deserving than this year's recipient. It is my honor to announce that Bill Dickinson is the 2021 Whalen Drew Award winner. Mm -hmm. Bill Dickinson is re recognized in Muskoka and beyond as one of our best environmental visionaries and a strong voice for nature. Bill is a champion of wilderness, of wetlands, forests, lakes, and streams with healthy natural shorelines. Bill is a highly knowledgeable field biologist whose personal mission is to share what he knows. Muskoka would be a lesser place and certainly Muskoka Conservancy would be a lesser organization without Bill. Bill has never stopped instilling a sense of natural wonder in the next generation of conservationists. 
and to this day coordinates and promotes Muskoka Conservancy's Charlie Essen Bursary for students destined for an environmentally focused post-secondary education. Throughout his career, Bill has done tremendous work serving as director and member for many organizations, including the Muskoka Watershed Council, Perry Sound Muskoka Stewardship Network, Algonquin Forest Authority, and on our old foundation trust and now Muskoka Conservancy, where he's an honorary director. Bill has the profound ability to connect with others and engage them in enjoying and protecting the environment, ensuring that good environmental causes continue. His efforts stand out from others in his extreme commitment and success in creating a positive network of people who permanently protect thousands of acres of beautiful land, long stretches of natural shoreline, and vast wetlands in Muskoka. Bill Dickinson has made an outstanding contribution to Muskoka Conservancy, and it is my privilege to name Bill Dickinson the winner of the 2021 Whalen Drew Award. Congratulations, Bill. And uh, Bill would like to say a few words. Bill, if you uh, go ahead and unmute yourself and please take the floor. Okay, thanks very much, Scott. Um, I, I can't believe that it's uh, uh, 24 years, uh, almost a quarter of a century uh, since the Wayland Drew was, uh, Award was first presented. It seems like uh, just yesterday. Um, I just like to make a few comments about, uh, about Wayland, uh, uh, a very inspiring teacher, as Scott mentioned, um, and, and a writer. Uh, uh, Bruce Littlejohn, who was a, a previous winner of this award, he and uh, Whalen paired up on a number of uh, books, uh, The Haunted Shore by Lake Superior, The uh, Inland Sea, Gulf of St. Lawrence. Uh, Whalen also went on to write a number of, uh, of novels. Um, but uh, he, I really saw him in action as an inspiring teacher. Um, he and another staff member at BMLSS uh, it started a course that married uh, literature, uh, English, and uh, science. And uh, it was very, uh, uh, a very fantastic course. Um, our own son, Adam, really took to it. And uh, currently, Adam is a full professor at Brock University, and one of his specialties is uh, literature and science. So uh, Whalen's uh, inspiration uh, lives on. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, in uh, 1991, as Scott mentioned, he won the uh, uh, Lieutenant Governor's Conservation Award that was sponsored by the Conservation Council of Ontario. Uh, but what I remember most about 1991 was uh, the conference that he inspired up in Huntsville. It was called uh, Signs of Hope. And uh, Whalen was able to get David Suzuki as a keynote speaker. He was uh, uh, able to uh, work with uh, David Story, our own David Story in Bracebridge, who was the director of education to get uh, funding for the, for the conference. Uh, he inspired teachers like Dave Whiteside to uh, develop a, a song called Signs of Hope. And uh, Dave wound up sending that song to every school in Canada. That's every school in Canada. I can remember spring, spring break being over at, um, Monk School, and uh, we sorted all the, uh, the CDs into bags. Uh, the uh, Canada Post gave us a break if we sorted them into provinces and, and areas. Um, he, he, he inspired uh, so many teachers and so many students over the years. Uh, when he passed away tragically in 1998 uh, of ALS, the uh, Conservancy, which was the uh, Heritage Foundation at the time, agreed to co-sponsor um, a, a, a permanent award, and it's a sculpture that you saw in the initial picture there, and uh, a keeper for the uh, for the recipient. The, the sculpture was uh, uh, Brenda Wayne, Wayne Mangoulay. There it is there, Scott. Uh, and uh, her concept was uh, a bear coming alive from a pictograph, from a rock, uh, moving out into the world. It's a fitting uh, tribute for Wayland. Uh, Brenda called it Bear Manitou. 
And um, according to uh, Waylon's wife, Gwen, uh, he was really was very, very fond of bears. He even belonged to a, a bear society. I'm not sure what the bear society is, but uh, it, it, <laughs> the bear society. And um, anyhow, that was a, a beautiful piece. And uh, it's, it's a, a real treasure that the uh, Conservancy can display it. 24 years ago, I never thought I would one day be the recipient as one who truly admired Wayland and who highly values the work of the Conservancy and treasured every moment of being part of it. I'm truly honored to receive the award. Thank you very much. Bill, uh, congratulations from all of us. It's a well-deserved honor. And Elspeth, thank you uh, for your, uh, for your uh, presentation.